welcome friends you are watching soft tech programming so uh, today i'm going to discuss the more concept on conditional statement so uh, for the people for the guys who haven't seen yet my previous video so i'll suggest to just please visit uh, to my previous video and next you will go for this video so that will be better for you okay so uh, today i'm going to discuss the logical operator so logical operator is there are three types of logical operator one is or and second is and and not so three types of logical operator basically there so or operator and operator and not operator so i'm going to discuss all of these operators by using a simple c program okay so uh, let's go for it so create a program i'm you know, giving the program name like a uh, logical operator dot c right sorry logical operator So has include dot h int main void. So for the logical operator, so uh, you have to be uh, give. I mean the for the logical operator. So actually, uh, how does the logical operator works basically? So logical operator works whenever you are having more than one conditions. I mean. Suppose uh, I am saying that uh, if your age is more than 21 and your income is more than 20,000, then you are allowed for the relationship. So that is if you want to be in a relationship, so there are two conditions. I mean the first condition is age must be more than 21 and the second condition is income must be more than 20,000. So that means here you are having two conditions basically. So that means whenever you are having more than one conditions, so then you have to keep logical operator. So that means there is uh, maybe and maybe or that means uh, how to how you want to set your conditions okay so i'm going to set the conditions like if you want to be in a relationship so there are two conditions which must be satisfied one is age must be greater than 21 another is income must be greater than 20000 okay so uh, so i'm going to write that if age is greater than 21 and income is greater than 20,000 okay so printf you are allowed sorry allowed for the relationship right else sorry you are not allowed for the relationship for the relationship right so uh, that's crazy so so that means so there are uh, two conditions one is age is greater than 21 another is income is greater than 20,000 so I decided that two conditions have to be satisfied so that's why I put and in the middle so that means and means what the both of the conditions must be satisfied but for the if statements you can't write and in by words so what you have to do is that you have to represent this and by some symbol that is two uh, that is a uh, two ampersand so that means by giving the two ampersand so it means that there is a logical end so that means these two conditions have to be satisfied because why because this indicates there is the end i mean the logical end right so for this checking i have to take input from the user that is 
uh, age and income so i'm declaring the variable age and income so printf enter your age printf enter your income scan if income yeah so that means uh, i am taking two inputs one is the age and another is income so now i'm going to check this condition this is whether this age is greater than 21 and the income is greater than 20000 right So GCC logical operator yes. So enter your age. So I'm giving the age right uh, 25 and income is 25,000. So you are allowed for the licenses. Oh, but if I'm giving the age like 20 and income yeah 25,000, but sorry you are not allowed for the licenses. So why this is happening because the, for the first condition where this age is must be greater than 21 but in my input I have given the age is 20 so that is not I mean this 20 is not greater than 21 so this is false but the income is I mean this income is 25,000 so this 25,000 is greater than 20,000 so this is true but as I have put this logical and operator there so that means both of these conditions have to be satisfied but this is not because this first condition is false so now i'm going to execute it again so enter your age so 25 but income is uh 15000 so sorry you are not allowed for the relationship so, so because this uh, why this is happening because for the first condition 25 is greater than uh, 25 is greater than 21 that is true but the income is 15,000 which is not greater than 20,000 so this false. So that means again the both of the conditions have not been satisfied so that is why this else part has been executed right so I am giving now age is 20 and income is 50,000 so sorry you are not allowed for relationships so in this case the two conditions are false that is 20 which is not greater than 21 and 15,000 which is not greater than 20,000 so that means the both conditions are false now so again I'm getting the message as sorry you are not allowed for the relationship oh. but I'm going to change these conditions by uh, by by making it's 50,000 and or that means if your age is greater than 21 or your income is greater than 50,000 oh, so this I mean so rich so uh, so that's why you are allowed for the relationship so or means what if anyone conditions among two conditions if anyone is true then the enter conditions the enter expressions will be treated as a true okay so but here is the same case as like uh, and so that means uh, you can't consider I mean you can't represent this or by this word so you have to represent it symbolically that means putting two pipeline symbol you can represent the or symbol like as putting two ampersand it represents the logical and same as putting two pipelines it represents the logical or so now if age is greater than 21 or income is greater than 50,000 so if anyone is true then you are allowed okay. so compile it again logical operator okay so enter your age so I'm giving the age 18 but income is like uh, 55,000 yeah. yes you are allowed for the relationship so though the first condition is false but the second one is true so that's why as because i put the logical or operator so that means that's that means the entire expression is true so that's why i'm getting the message 
then you are allowed for the deletion step, right? But if I'm giving that first one is true, sorry, first one is true 25, but the second one is false. That means 40,000, right? Okay. So uh, what is next? So again, I'm gonna get the message like you are allowed for the deletion step. Yeah. So why? Because as because the first condition is true but the second one is is not but as i have put the logical or operator so that means if any one condition is true then the enter expressions is true now enter your age 20 income 20,000. so sorry you are not allowed for the relationship why because for the logical or operator if all of the conditions is false then enter expression is considered as a false so what is the difference between logical and operator and logical or operator so for the logical and operator for the logical and operator if the both conditions i mean all the conditions here i have put only two conditions in your case it may be three conditions four conditions hundred conditions so it varies actually so all the conditions have to be satisfied for the logical and and for the logical or if any one conditions is satisfied so that means the enter conditions the enter expression is true right so for the logical and operator if any one is false then the enter conditions enter expressions is treated as a false but for the logical or operator if all the conditions is false then the enter expressions is considered as false right okay so now i'm going to discuss the logical uh, not operator so for the logical not operator now you understand one thing uh suppose i'm writing if 10 is greater than zero so printf true else printf false so what will be the output the output will be true why because the train is greater than zero so it is true right but my question is how this expression is evaluated internally that means you are watching that from your point of view you can consider that yes so 10 is greater than zero so it's easy to judge it easy to uh, to I mean uh, to uh, make the conditions that of whether it is true or false but for the computer how does it work internally so uh, how is it treated as a, a true or false so uh, so uh, whenever you are having suppose like uh, some expressions I mean if you're writing that if 10 is greater than 0 so how this expression I mean how this expression gets evaluated so now you understand one thing that the compiler doesn't have any brain I mean the compiler doesn't have any ability for the for the evaluation of any mathematical expression or any logical expression but the computer has the ability to decide whether this is true or false but how actually so so in your computer in your uh, cpu there are three parts basically the inner cpu that is considered as a cpu so in a cpu there is three part one is known as alu another is known as cu and another is known as mu so alu means arithmetic and logical unit cu means control unit and mu actually stands for memory unit right so whenever you are having any expressions i mean it may be any logical expressions or mathematical expressions so the compiler doesn't have the ability to compute it or to evaluate it so then the compiler will find for someone will search for someone whether there is someone for helping me yes so anu will respond yes so i am here for helping you tell me what is the problem 
so then the compiler will send this data to the ALU so can you please help me by computing this whether this is true or false so ALU then responds yes I can so please send me the data so the compiler will send to the ALU the data write 10 greater than and 0 so that means the ALU have to check whether this 10 is greater than 0 or not so then ALU will say to the compiler okay I will compute it for you you just go back and sit relax so then the ALU will compute it whether this I mean whether, whether this expression is true or false if this expression is true or false then the ALU will return to the compiler something that means the statement where this expression is present so to that particular position to that particular statement the ALU returns some data by which the compiler can understand whether this condition is true or false so again I'm repeating that after the evaluation of the ALU that means whatever the expressions whatever the logic logical expression is it is so after the evaluation ALU returns something to the compiler so by which the compiler can decide whether this is true or false that means whether I will go for the then statement I mean the true part of the statement whether I will go for the false part of the if statement so uh, what are the data the ALU sends to the compiler so the data is if this expression is true the ALU sends 1 but if this statement is false ALU sends 0 right so that means so this if expression then replaced by the data 1 or 0 so whenever the if statement is having the data like 1 so then the compiler understand okay so that means this if 1 it means actually true it means actually true but if the compiler get the data which is 0 so that means it is false right but the point is that it may not be a uh, true that means all the times the uh, the ALU sends I mean the compiler will get the data 1 and 0 that means for the true it can get any non zero value I mean it may be minus 100 it may be 10 it may be 2 5 0 or dot 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 but for the false it will always send 0 so that means if you're writing that if one so that means I'm gonna I'm gonna get the result as a true GCC logical operator so this is true wait okay so if I'm giving the result I mean the uh, value like minus sorry uh, minus hundred so that means again I'm going to get the output as a true so that means for the logical expression so the non-zero value is treated as a true but the zero is treated as a false yeah so this is false so that means you can see that each and every non-zero value for any logical expression is always treated as a true if we give minus one two three four so what is the output the output will be true because it is a non zero value if you're giving that one zero one so don't think that it's a binary number okay so let's change it one zero zero two so that means again you're getting the output as a true so that means each and every non zero value the compiler treats it as a true but only for the zero it is as a false okay so now so if before any non zero value I'm putting the operator not so this is known as logical not so if I'm putting the operator not so that means this this is for the true so putting the not before any operator so just reverse it that means what so not true means what false so that means I'm getting the value uh, I'm getting the result as a false so again 
so this is actually true because non zero value so compiler will treat it as a true but if i put a not over there so that means it becomes false why because this is true i mean the non zero value but putting a not before it so getting not that means not true so it is false so okay cls gcc logical operator so a this is false because i put the not symbol over there so if i am not getting this if i am not putting this not so again i am sorry again i am getting the output as a true right so if i am giving the value minus 100 so that means i am getting true but if i am putting not over there so i am getting the result as false so i think you understood that uh, what is the concept of this logical not and how does the if statement is internally works so actually the if statement internally works by the help of a loop and by the help of this non-zero value and the zero value so if the compiler gets some non-zero value so it treats as a true if it gets some zero i mean a zero value so it treats as a false so by putting the not the false becomes true the true becomes false right so friends this is the all of this logical operator so that means the logical and logical or and logical not so still if you're having some questions if you uh, want to know something uh, more about the if statements if you haven't understand anything that i have discussed i mean the uh, internally uh, procedure that how does if statement works and the logical and operator or operator and not operator so feel free to ask me just go to the comment sections and comment and ask me if you have any query so thanks for watching just keep watching and keep supporting me that i can discuss the more concept of a c program for you people and make it simple for you people okay so thank you